I come from documentaries and getting things right and being authentic to the world that 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 we're talking about is really important to me both uh, on the level of music and DJs and, and the technical level of you know uh, you know what button should be pressed or what knob or what fader um, Cole should be pressing at what time on, on one side that that's one thing that needs a lot of attention but also like is this authentic to the valley are these characters people who who are familiar to people who've grown up in the valley, and I and I've gotten a lot of feedback, and I've changed things around to really make the characters and the storylines as authentic to the San Fernando Valley as possible. She did her audition, and I like to film the auditions myself on my camera, and I just like I was watching her read, and her expressions were so small and subtle, and and just very different and interesting and quiet and there was so much going on under the surface and she was doing a lot with the lines that was complex and yet very small and subtle and something about that really appealed to me and I I remember like you know turning off the camera and she left the room and I like turned to the casting director and was like who is that he really took it seriously and and lost a lot of weight and went running and has been on a liquid diet and and uh, he's a lot smaller I don't know you know I I think people will notice he's a lot smaller in this movie than than you've seen him recently and his dedication to the project has been you know uh, I couldn't ask for more from anyone so Shiloh just came in and literally the moment he stepped into the room he didn't even have to say anything like it, it was very clear that he was Ollie he just inhabited Ollie and and I, I think the same thing happened with uh, Alex Schaefer. He was, he was the first person to come in that I felt really strongly about. Just the first actor, period, that came into the room that I was just like, wow, this guy just feels like Squirrel. He looks like Squirrel. He talks like Squirrel. His essence felt like Squirrel's essence. And basically, as soon as someone comes in the audition room, like, to me, that is the audition. It's not like when they start reading the lines, it's just who they are. And Ali, Shiloh was Ollie, and Alex was Squirrel. I really do think that the film is about that transition from being a kid to being an adult and finding your way in, in today's world, which is very much without a path. The, the, the traditional structures that existed before, like college and a corporate job and you know buying a home and becoming a homeowner and all those traditional structures have kind of crumbled in the last you know five or six years and so the kids that are growing up now they don't have they're not looking they, there's no set path for them and so there's this kind of sense of everyone is lost and it's every man for themselves and and where do you where do you go and what path should you take and should you just start a blog and make millions of dollars or get likes on Instagram or start an app or become a DJ and and so this this landscape of of the future is wide open and it's daunting on the one hand and, and exciting on the other hand and so I think the film is about finding your path in the midst of this chaos and I think more importantly and more universally it's about just finding your voice both as, as a human being and as an artist. It's not as much of a love story as it is a, this kind of true friendship story in that they, they see one another and they want each other to, to progress with their lives and to get beyond where they are and to realize their potential. And I think it's when you make a connection like that that you really can fall in love. It's not a purely physical thing. I mean, Zach is, you know, Cole is Zac Efron and, and, and Sophie is Emily Ratajkowski, so of course, you know, they're going to be attracted to each other. But beyond that, I think they both, there's a kinship that is, they're basically the same age. And they're trying to find their way in, a, in an adult world where there are no rules and no structures. And they have people on either side of them that are influencing them in different directions.